I was on the island of Guam, in his command, in March of 1945. In that single night, we burned to death 100,000 Japanese civilians in Tokyo, men, women, and children. Are you aware this was going to happen? Well, I was, I was part of a mechanism that, that in a sense recommended it. Errol Morris's Oscar-winning documentary, The Fog of War, is about Robert McNamara, a statistician so smart that he was asked by two presidents to use his smarts at the very highest levels in matters of life and death. Another way of looking at it is that McNamara, who was the Secretary of Defense under John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson, is the Donald Rumsfeld of his time, widely considered to be the architect of the Vietnam War. Using over 20 hours of interviews, Morris uses McNamara to give an insider's view of recent history, as well as a portrait of a man grappling with his responsibility for the millions of deaths that occurred as a result of his counsel. Fog of War skips around through much of McNamara's life, from childhood to the Cuban Missile Crisis to his resignation as Secretary of Defense in 1968. During World War II, McNamara crunched numbers for the Air Force to make their operations more efficient. This led to the firebombing of Japan, which burned to death hundreds of thousands of Japanese civilians. And this was before the U.S. dropped nukes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In a stunning moment, McNamara admits that he and his commanders would have been convicted as war criminals if the U.S. had lost World War II, but goes on to say there were no rules of war forbidding such killing, and asks why you're only charged with war crimes if your side loses the war. It's a very good question. McNamara also talks about the Cold War, which he calls the Hot War, considering how close the U.S. came on several occasions to all-out nuclear war with Russia. He's quick to point out that it was sheer luck that kept nuclear-armed nations from destroying each other, as well as his fears that such a scenario could easily happen again due to the preponderance of nuclear weapons and the inherent fallibility of humans, no matter how rational. In some of the film's more chilling moments, you hear actual White House recordings of McNamara and Kennedy discussing the pros and cons of invading Cuba, a move which would have led to Cuba launching nukes at the U.S. It was only through an effort to understand the Russian mindset that nuclear Armageddon was avoided. Empathize with your enemy is the first of 11 lessons the fog of war is structured around. Other lessons include rationality will not save us, get the data, and proportionality should be a guideline in war. I should note that these are things Morris got from his interviews with McNamara, not McNamara's own lessons, though you can find a list of those on the DVD. Though the word Iraq is never mentioned, it hangs over much of the film. There are just too many parallels with Vietnam, where it was a lie that got us into it, we didn't understand the culture or the history of the country we invaded, we weren't supported by our allies, and we didn't have an exit strategy. It's also hard not to look at Kennedy's wise leadership in avoiding nuclear war with Russia, as compared to George W. Bush's dumbass leadership in dragging us into an unnecessary war in Iraq. McNamara may not have all the answers, and there are some answers he's clearly keeping to himself, but we would be fools not to listen to him. The Fog of War should be required viewing for students, politicians, and really anyone who wants to understand the second half of the 20th century. Fortunately, if you're a teacher or maybe just no one who might be interested in using the Fog of War as a teaching tool, you can find a lesson plan based on the movie at choices.edu slash fog of war, which has questions, activities, and copies of historical documents that can be used in class discussions. It's pretty clear that if the warmongers from the Bush administration had talked with McNamara, we might have avoided Iraq altogether. And maybe if we share the Fog of War and his lessons with future generations, they'll be able to avoid repeating some of history's worst tragedies. This is Jonathan Kim, and this is a Brave New Review.